It's Feedback Gaming! Welcome back to my playthrough of Argentina vs United States. Still preparing for our war with the United States. Still preparing for it. Um, we've got the whole situation in Indonesia pretty much under wraps. We clearly show that our navy is completely under power. Oh, wow, this division is actually going around the world. It is actually quicker to go around the world <laughs> than to go the other way. <laughs> oh, what's this? The world is on a loop. What's this all about? It's just wrapping around itself. This is madness. <laughs> okay, so we're just moving our decisions into place. We're going to prepare for war against Mexico. I don't think there's anything else we need to do. Um, keep our supplies nice up and up and prepared. Aside from that though, we're just preparing for war now. We're moving all our divisions in place and then just waiting. Um, ideally, we'd like to get some mechanized involved with this. In fact, you know, should we do that? Let's get some mechanized in there. So how many mechanized pieces have we got? So how much mechanized? Um, dear me. So if we wanted to mechanize all of our armies, it would cost 5,250 pieces of mechanized. But we can't do that, obviously. That's too much mechanized. But if we do two, it would cost us 2,100. Okay. So we do have some left over, and that's definitely what we do need. We need lots of pieces left over, because we are going to take some losses when we invade, so we need that. But the big benefit is having a few mechanized arms. It makes our army tougher. They need more hard attack, and it also gives us more hard attack as well. Because we're going to be engaging quite a lot of um, tanks versus America, and we need more hard attack. Advanced anti-tank. Yep. We've almost fully upgraded all our guns as well. Another two months. Or two days, actually. Two or three days. That's crazy. The production's doing pretty well, too. We still are recruiting as many as we can. It comes down to... Wow, we've got a lot of submarines as well. We're pumping out submarines. We're also getting an absolute ton of convoys as well. We've got way too many convoys. One row of convoys and add those to the fleet. In fact, we're going to prioritize light cruisers. Fleet 1, Fleet 3, yeah. Okay, I don't know how this is going to go down, but we're going to go on convoy raiding duty. I don't even know how this is going to even benefit us. Yeah, I don't even know how this is going to benefit us. Maybe just some kind of distraction, maybe? I don't know. Because I would really seriously doubt that America's importing anything. Do they need any resources? The only thing they've not got is rubber. They've got a little bit there. Ten rubber. But that's the only thing the United States doesn't have a lot of. So they would be importing rubber from somewhere. I wonder where, though. Okay, so... <clears throat> They would probably be getting rubber either from the United Kingdom. They'd be getting it from the Netherlands. They'd be getting it from the Netherlands. Okay, so the Netherlands capital is in Europe right now, right? It is the back at Holland. Okay, so they're going to be getting supplies directly here. This province is... These two are going to be the ones we need to put raiders on. Raiding... Here and here. It's a little bit out of range. Maybe we should rebase them. Um... Yeah, let's, let's rebase them here. 
They're all small naval bases, these. In fact, we'll go for that one. It's a 20 base, that one. Go here, and then we're going to go for the full raiding. As they move up, it might reveal more territory in the north. Resistance is growing here. And there's so many factories here as well. Resistance growing by 0%. Are we resisting them? Wow, look how many countries we've conquered. Damn. Okay, are we all in position now? Uh, these are our police divisions. There's a few still moving up. Still a little bit more time. It's a bit of a waiting game now. We need to just get all the divisions in position. I think, I think to this stage we can justify war with them now. Oh, I can't believe this is really tense. It's been building up to this moment for the whole game. Japan is holding out. Even if they did want to conquer Japan, it's going to take them a while because there's just conquering East China and Manchuria is hard because there's so many mountains. Wow, they've done a landing here. Oh, there's not many troops here though. There's only four or five divisions, six divisions. It's kind of cool they thought to do that. And Germany is on its last legs. After they take most of mainland Germany, Germany will cripple and fall apart. Oh, actually, I don't know. Maybe they've got another year because they've got to invade all Italy and all, all Spain. And Spain's tricky because it's all hills. Hmm. Okay. Resistance. Just that one province still. Is there any divisions moving that way? No. Well, there's one. Let's take that one off. That'll do. Oh! Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, hello, hello, hello. What do we have here? So, this is going to be important. We need reserves. So, just to make life, like, super simple, we're going to create a new theater. This is going to be the police. Yep, they're the police divisions, that's cool. These are our high priorities, that's important. And we're also going to break off 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 divisions. Now the 12 divisions are going to also be low priority. We'll get a new commander for this. What's the name of this gentleman? Mr. Cruz. Mr. Cruz! So cancel all orders. Create a border here, push into Venezuela. They've actually took these provinces at the back as well, haven't they? That'll do. Okay, that's cool. I'm happy with that. Okay, what I'd like to do now is grab all you guys. Um, merge in. These are two mountain divisions going around the world. Add those into him. These guys are going to be added into here. So we, we want two armies. We want a field marshal that covers most of the mountain infantry and then another division that's all motorized. One, two, three. Here. This is another group of six. So we've got 40 main... Divisions, mountain infantries. And these guys are going to be. Oh, I won't work that. I have to push there. Actually, the mountain infantry can actually push directly through the mountain area in Mexico. Let's do that. An absolutely adventurous planning. Uh, adventurous plan, but we'll go for it. Uh. 60, say 60, 40 should I say, 40 divisions, awesome, I 
That looks so awesome. That looks so awesome. That's what I want to do. Okay, so these are the uh, hammer. And these could be the shield, right? I thought I was going to say hammer and sickle then. That's it. That's not communist. We're, we're, we're fascist, aren't we? Okay, the backup army is moving in now. Okay, it's still going to take us a few months to get prepared for this. It's always, like, super tempting to try and commit every single one of your main force directly to the front line. Uh, but that always seems to fall flat. You should always have some reserves in the back just to pull forward and, and catch you if you fall flat. Um, okay, air experience is low. Tank reliability, we're not going to be using that. Capital ship damage. Okay, we're actually moving into position now, that's good. There's only a few divisions here. Oh, we've got another landing here. And another one here as well. Wow, they're really going for it now. Uh, here. Oh, being so brave. That is a ridiculously stupid place to land. Oh wow, that is a stupid place to land. I can hit them with all my 18 rocket artillery. Okay. Wow. Oh, this is such a pain. It's almost like they know that we're doing a landing. Ladies and gents, boys and girls, I think it is ready. We are ready for the invasion. No, the supply issues. Oh, no way. La Libertad. Oh, I know what the problem now. I just realized what the problem is. The problem is because is the, the, the provinces are really badly broken up. So this one, let me just zoom out a little bit. This province is banged up. Let me just see if I can see where the areas are broken here. Here's damaged. Here's damaged. Oh, that's so bad timing. I should have took care of that before. This is going to take a few weeks to fix now. How long is our war justification? Another month. Okay, night vision is complete. We can go for this one. It is 1% ahead. Base cost is 150, but it reduces it to 109 due to all my reductions that I've got. Cool. I think we're going to go for that. Mechanize will be cool, but we can't take advantage of Mechanize straight away. Yeah, we can't take advantage of Mechanize immediately. More supply issues. The supply issues are coming from here. The provinces that are being occupied. We're going to have to delay the attack. We're going to have to delay the attack. That is so frustrating. Ah, it's causing, it's causing supply issues on my front line because they're invading and pushing me from the north. Ah, so infuriating. I think what we'll do is we'll pull back our main force. Our, uh, our mobilized army. Yeah, let's do that. El Salvador. El Salvador's not joined the war, but they've got five divisions. That could be useful. An extra five divisions, nice. There's some resistance happening there. And they are damaging... The naval dot yards, that's a pain. Okay. Um, where's the... They're here, 19 of those. Supplies a bit easier now. It's because we've taken off all the, uh, the rocket artillery. Oh, actually, maybe we don't even need them anymore. It's here we need to get. We need to take this port here. Oh my goodness, they took out three convoys. 
You know what would be really nice? If it actually said what these convoys were. It doesn't say, and that really frustrates me. It's like, are those convoys that are bringing in metal, like steel? Are these convoys that were divisions that were moving across the sea? Or are these convoys bringing supplies? It, does, it doesn't actually state that. That's, I feel like that's something the game needs to tell you. And that is like a really big part of the game that's missing. Okay, attack, go. Where are the ports? Here and here. Wow. Humiliation. The breakthrough is so big. I think there's ports on every single one of them now as well. Can we go for these guys as well in the mountains? Are they retreating? Wrecked. Are they trying to do a landing straight away after it? What? So brave. Okay, so these are our reserves, okay? Sign all the reserves here. The reserves can take care of it. Now we have to reassign them back here again. In fact, no, no, no. Here. And then here. Is the roads fixed now? Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this has been such a long time coming and I have been desperately waiting for this. These provinces are empty. Why are you not moving in? I would really like it if you just took that province and encircled these nine divisions. Two South African divisions. No, three South African divisions. Three Venezuelans. One United Kingdom, one Canada, one Netherlands. Oh, are they going to let us come through? That would be no so nice if they did. That would be so nice. Let us do it. Oh, we have a division in Africa. I kid you not. We have a division <laughs> that's going through Africa. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Alright, we have an airbase here. It's a thousand as well. So we'll put some planes on it. No, no. Thousand planes. Got an ace? No, no aces. This is going to be useful as well. I never thought of this either. We could really do with a bit of air support as well. Whoa! What's going on here? Oh my goodness. Another landing again. They are so relentless with these landings, aren't they? They just keep coming. They're running away. Oh my god, I love to see those rockets fly, that's so cool. The naval landings! Damn! Pin them in. Pin them in. Is there a naval base here? No, it's not. How many are signed here? The full 12 divisions. Where are all the others? Oh, they're moving in. They're coming. They're coming. That's a hard attack to make because you get a huge penalty because you're attacking over water. 54% penalty. That's huge. Okay, can we declare war now? No. Oh, we can. No, we can. The justification ends on the 22nd of February. We'll, we'll, get, we'll take another few. We'll go for those extra 22 days to prepare. All 12 divisions attack. You stay there. Whoa, no, no, no. Stay there, please. Stay there. Sign here. Nine divisions. What's their supply like? 33%. That's a big, that's a big loss, that. Is there a naval base here?
Okay. I can't believe we're losing this. You might be better off not attacking through the jungle. That'd be a really good idea. Submarine 3. Submarine 4. Here we go, Submarine 4. Do we need submarines? I don't think we do. We could do the engineers badly. Yeah, let's do the engineers. Alright, we're actually slowly getting a lead on them now. Bulgaria's fallen. And the last part of Germany. There's just a bit of a Bavaria and Austria's left. Okay, that's good. Push in. And go. Can we do an assist attack here? No, don't attack now. Okay, ladies and gents, this is a slightly shorter episode because the next episode is literally me just going to invade Mexico. So the next episode is going to be the best of the best. I will not disappoint. And oh, this is going to be the moment where this goes incredibly well or incredibly wrong. If you've liked it, hit that like button, guys. Also, if you enjoy this kind of content, hit subscribe. And also click on notify when I upload more videos to YouTube. I hope you all have a good day. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.